on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, we're recapping all our favorite moments from Season 3 of Miami Vice and looking forward to Season 4. On this week in Vice, we'll be splitting the summer between seasons into two parts. The summer of 1987 was amazing. This week, we'll be covering May 11th to July 12th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on May 17th, the USS Stark, as part of the Middle East Task Force, was struck by two missiles during the Iraq-Iran War. The missile struck with little warning to the crew, leaving 37 U.S. Navy personnel killed and 21 injured. Iraq would later apologize for the incident, and the U.S. Navy would relieve Captain Glenn Brindle of the USS Stark for not defending the ship. In music, during this time period, there'd be five different number one songs on the Hot 100, but I'm only going to single out one. The other four songs included You Keep Me Hanging On by Kim Wilde, Always by Atlantic Star, Head to Toe by Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam, and I Want to Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston. The, the biggest hit of this time period and the song of emphasis for this episode is With or Without You by the international mega band U2. From the multi-platinum and critically acclaimed album, The Joshua Tree, the song was spent three weeks at number one and is the band's first time on the top of the charts. With or Without You is considered one of the greatest songs ever and is routinely on lists of writers and artists' all-time favorite songs. In movies, during this segment, I'd like to point out the most successful or most popular creation over a stretch of time. During this time period, Ishtar, Wishes of Eastwick, and Beverly Hills Cop 2, which broke the record for the highest grossing R-rated film, all won the box office at one time or another. But the most important movie during this time, and one of the greatest sci-fi movies ever, debuted. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers, Jesse Ventura, Bill Duke, and Shane Black, is the movie Predator. Directed by John McTiernan, the movie needs no no introduction. If you do not know or have not seen the original Predator, please stop this show right now and do nothing else until you watch it. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.